Hello everybody, welcome back to another stream. So we are here uh, in the SpaceX uh, website um, and yeah, we are here for a beautiful Falcon 9 launch from Launch Complex 39A over in Florida. Um, and yeah, it's going to be quite nice. We have the Bandwagon 1 mission. Which is going to carry 11 payloads. One of them being a classified um, aperture, uh, synthetic aperture radar. So uh, that is for South Korea, uh, for the government of that. So, yeah, inside this big fairing, there's going to be a total of 11 uh, payloads. So, yeah, um, it is targeting. Uh, we are now at T minus uh, 20 minutes. So we are at T minus 20 minutes. So in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Am I right? Yeah, 10 minutes. Um, they should go live. So we're going to go over um, some facts about this uh, booster. So the booster has um, flown for 14 times. Um, this will be its 14th flight. Um, so yeah, it got it done a turnaround. So its last flight was um, 33 days ago. That's crazy. 33 days to, you know, refurbish or you know review and make sure that the booster was safe for flight 33 days it's crazy the rate that spacex are going with these falcon nines i think they're going to push 20 reuses easy so um yeah so uh the uh onboard spacecrafts includes uh the korea 425 sat which is the uh, synthetic aperture radar um you've got a hawkeye 360 cluster so that's two satellites i'm not even going to try and pronounce that something international centaur six so you got a bunch of satellites uh which is so cool um and this is this is basically kind of like a transporter mission um, but for um, for a few bigger companies, I'm guessing, and like governments and stuff like that. So it will be the booster will be landing at LZ One, uh, just down the road from the launch site. So that's going to be pretty sick. Now we are. So oh, we've got a vote on the poll. Will it go boom? They've said no. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it won't go boom. We hope it doesn't. But we wouldn't really complain if it did. <laughs> so we are around between uh, first stage and second stage locks load. Um, we're coming up to actually second uh, stage locks load. Um, so we are actually closer to this side. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite good. So here's a little graphic of what's going to happen with today's launch. So they're going to launch, do the usual gravity turn, stage separation, and then the booster is going to do a boost back burn and come. It's actually going to come further than how it's launched, uh, where it's launched from. So it's literally going to boot itself back this way and over the top and then land a little bit further down uh, south of the Cape, which is always mad to see um and considering it is 12 o'clock here in the uk i expect it to be fairly dark it's a seven was it seven sixteen in florida yep so seven sixteen. so it should be starting to get dark so we might actually see a jellyfish effect which would be super cool um there is a bug flying around my monitor and it's just Buzzed into it and fallen on the floor. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, bugs in the UK—they they don't even know what's going on at the moment. 
One minute it's freezing cold, next minute it's hot. Today it was actually really warm and sunny. Yeah, should be. Is that to the darkness? <laughs> I'm guessing. Uh, hello, Tubbles. Um, nice to see ya. Um, so yeah, they uh, should be going live in approximately four minutes. So, let's go and have a look. Oh, three minutes. Well, hey. So we're going to hop over to X. Uh, yeah, I was right. Cool. So yeah, we might get a lovely jellyfish effect tonight. Should be super. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm tired. Um, I've been up since half five this morning uh, to watch the Formula One because I am a real fan, and I get up even if I had work, which actually helped me out because I had I had to go in at work early today, so that's really cool. Uh, you know what I'm gonna quickly do? I'm gonna quickly pop onto a different thing. Please ignore the giant cut on my face. Um, I've had a shave and I actually cut myself for the first time in quite a while. Um, I normally don't cut myself, but um, I was kind of rushing. So, uh, yeah, lots of fun. Right, what I want to do is... I'm trying to get my sub goal back. Because I took it off because it wasn't working. Now, I don't know why it's not working properly, but it just wasn't working. Uh, nearly watched the NASA space flight, then I saw you. I <laughs> thought leave them. Ah, oh, thank you very much. That is so kind. Um, right, allow your chat to play a game. What's this? What is that? Is that on... Right, I want YouTube. Right. I can let you go... What? What the hell? Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, spin the wheel. Uh, only because you never seem to remind me when you're, you're sleep streaming. <laughs> before, you, before you meant streaming. Yeah, I have to say, I... I posted all these up the other week, and I'm just like, oh, God, hang on, what's this? Spin the wheel. Uh, did I put a... Did, oh, no. Okay, I have not set that up properly. Um, I was looking at a spin the wheel, win a fabulous prize. Right. Here we go. Chat highlight. This is what I've been trying to do. So when I want to like show everyone a comment. So does it pinned? Uh, 14 seconds. Right. Enable. Copy. Right. We should be going any minute, any second now. Me reload. Look at that. The reload is always oh well. And then we're gonna set the quality 1080p. Look at that. Nice. Uh, open message settings. Uh, save settings. Right. Okay. I want to see what this does. Highlights. Do, 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 do. Oh. Right, uh, I want to put it up here. So, chat highlight, click here, short guide. So is it when I pin a comment? I think it's when I pin a comment. So let's have a look. Pin a comment. It's pinned. Uh, oh, 
Did we get another? No, we didn't get another vote. Uh, right. So how does that work? <laughs> I love it when I don't even know how to work things. I'm just going to turn that down for myself because that is blasting my ears. Oh, I think they're actually they're getting under. They're getting underway. Here we go. Pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Go for launch. All right, how do I... Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Right. Dragon okay, I don't know what's going confirmed. on here. Right, I'm just going to test a subscriber. I just want to see if it works. Stage one is transonic. Okay, that still works. And Falcon 9 has landed. Uh... Welcome to the webcast for SpaceX's first bandwagon mission, a new line of rideshare missions that will deliver mm. spacecraft to mid inclination uh... orbits. Mid inclination, that you see okay. The screen is currently scheduled to lift off just about 11 minutes from now from Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Now, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Shiva. I'm a space operations Shiva. engineer here at SpaceX, and I'll be your host as we follow this Falcon 9 for its 14th flight to deliver 11 spacecraft mm. to orbit for six different customers. Now, at the very top of the satellite stack sits our primary payload for the South Korean Defense Acquisition Program Administration. Right, I'm just going to test that again. So get ready for another Korea noise. Five project. Our first oh, launch for this I've project was the Korea to save it. Five mission oh. in December of last year. The Come on, go away. project will provide domestic Earth observation capabilities to the Republic of Korea. Now, our other rideshare customers today are Hawkeye uh, 360, Tyvek International, IQPS, Capella Space, and Tata Advanced Systems Limited. To date, SpaceX has launched nearly a right, thousand let me save it. Sats for uh, I'm just going to try it. Here we go, guys. One more time. Different customers across our entire rideshare program. Uh, all right, I need and to move the it up. Poor rideshare missions continues to rise. Our rideshare program was expanded to accommodate even more small satellites. There we go. That's cool. Orbit. We wanted that there. Now, while our transporter rideshare missions launch into what's called a sun synchronous orbit. The launching into mid-inclination orbits fills gaps for our customers that wish to expand their coverage or complete unique objectives. Mid-inclinations offer higher revisit rates, meaning the time between flyovers of the same point is faster than what wow. we see with okay. other orbits. Now, rideshare missions significantly increase the That's access cool. to space for small satellite operators around the world, so we're excited to be able to offer these launch opportunities for our customers. Now, we're currently working towards a T0 or launch time of 716 Eastern. That's about nine minutes from now. The weather is looking great for today's opportunity, and the range is con uh, ready to support. We have a very low probability of violation, with the uh, primary concern no being noise. watching uh, potential oh. cloud formation along the ascent. Uh, oh, wow. Corridor. Clouds. If for That's some reason all. we don't launch today, we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at the same time. It is worth mentioning that we will be ending our webcast with the launch of our, or excuse me, with the landing of our first stage. Oh, today, what? That's at the request oh, of our customers. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the now, government don't nine, want uh, people to know which which way the satellite is going. Rocket. It's designed for reliable and safe transportation of satellites, cargo, and people. At the very top of the rocket is the payload fairing. The fairing is a protective shell that houses all of the spacecraft and shields them from the air yeah, yeah, that part now. and mechanical stresses that happen uh, as we ride through the Earth's atmosphere. The aerodynamic shape of the fairing also contributes to Falcon 9's overall efficiency, reducing drag as we accelerate through the lower parts of the Earth's atmosphere. But once we get to the vacuum of space, those two fairing halves separate, expose the payloads within, and then those fairing halves will fall back to Earth where we recover them uh, to be refurbished and reused on future flights. Right below the fairing, we've got our second stage. That has a single Merlin vacuum or MVAC engine, and that'll ignite uh, shortly after stage separation to take our payloads to their target orbits. 
Now, below the second stage, we've got that black carbon fiber. A lovely little bit. Look at that. The um, Berlin vacuum's nozzle. And the inner stage is what connects the uh, two stages and also it looks so weird like when you take like this whole rocket apart half minutes into flight like they just don't look like they should the stage, like we've got go the together stage. that's also referred to as the oh booster uh, the Ooh. booster makes up the bottom buffer face of the vehicle it's got nine Merlin 1d engines at its base and those engines do the bulk of the work to get Falcon 9 off the ground from the launch pad into the thinner parts of the Earth's atmosphere about two and a half minutes into the flight the stages will separate the first stage will make its way back to Earth and it'll be attempting a land landing mm. at LZ1 on your screen. So it's not dark, by the way. Just realized it's, it's definitely not dark. <laughs> now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the 14th flight for this booster. If it's successful, the landing uh, will mark SpaceX's 294th landing of an orbital yeah. class rocket. We are just about T minus six minutes. Uh, from liftoff, all systems. What was it? Also, this is the 250th uh, next up, reflight of a proven booster. Uh, got the That's mad. Retract. So strong back, you can see it here on the right hand side of the vehicle. No, so they're not showing us erector, um, the, uh, the, the starship the pad at the moment. It gets, uh, the there's there's things going on now. Power, uh, and also gets Falcon 9 out to the launch pad and into the launch position. Now, while we are waiting for strong back retract, let's take... So that camera is literally right there. Orbit. That's it right there. For any rocket and its payload to get into any orbit, the rocket not, ol not only has to go up from the ground, but then we have to start going sideways very quickly. As we ascend, we tilt the engines. That's called gimbling. And that begins to move the rocket horizontally away from the launch Whoa, what site. What was I trying to um, Newton actually imagined this in uh, when he was determining how gravity would work with the idea being firing a cannonball from the side of the uh, planet and tr shooting it faster and faster and faster until it actually went all the way around the earth so uh, the uh, forces of gravity are trying to pull that cannonball Falcon back down towards earth but if you shoot it fast enough it'll keep going around and eventually make it all the way around the planet and that's basically what we're trying to do with falcon 9 except we're using our rocket engines to do so Now, if you uh, pay attention during the launch today, you'll see Falcon 9 from uh, our ground track views, and you'll see it gimbling away. That'd be from so the cool. Pad. So cool. I just wish it was more Coming nighttime. Drawback retract has started. Uh, there's the just think, Martin, right? We have been along this road right here. So the first and we've got out over here. See the clamp arms opening around the top I think of it was the second out there. stage. Here's a great shot of the uh, clamp arms. So very. So they should very open very like little pincers. There. There's the clamp arms opening. We'll see the strong back recline away a few degrees from Falcon 9, clearing the way for it to attempt liftoff here in just about four minutes. Oh, I'm an itchy back. Wrong time to get an itchy back. Right, Next we are milestone. almost there. Lots here for propellant loading on both the first and second stages. Falcon 9 uses uh, liquid oxygen as our oxidizer. Oh, I thought the rocket was moving then. <laughs> uh, you can imagine it just falls over as our fuel. So we combust those in our oh, engines and then exhaust that out the back of the vehicle, and that's what provides the thrust to Falcon 9. Both of those are loaded at extremely cold temperatures, uh, and so to avoid... Um, oh, man. Uh, to keep oh, wow. As dense are as all the as legs down? Late in the launch count I can't see time. any of the legs on the Starship mount that at all. Out. Indicating that hmm. the oxygen loading is complete. So, the are they redesigning the OLM? The portion of the vehicle up to or the are they scrapping it? Continuing to load propellants hmm. on uh, the white portion or the second stage above the interstage. And then a similar call out there was just made that the strong back retract is complete. So that means we are in the launch configuration. Here uh, we go. Order, oh, it's too late. I'm so tired. <laughs> 
Just under two and a half minutes to go, guys. This should be good. Continuing to track uh, good weather for today's attempt. Nice. Range we like good weather. And the payload's continuing to look healthy for today's launch opportunity. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love how they've already set the exposure right down. You can actually see... Like, so there's a circle there. Fully loaded with propellants, liquid oxygen, what is that circle? Propellant, uh, Actually, you can see the circle the there as well. We'll see some venting of the lines from the transporter. Is right that, you can see that like there. a watermark? We're clearing those lines out ahead of our launch. Next major milestone at oh. T-minus 60 seconds. That's when Falcon 9 will transition into startup. What that means is that the flight computers on board yeah, the vehicle... Yeah, the yeah, there it is. Look, you guys... Have, can you uh, guys see it as well? The launch countdown. There's like... At T minus 60 seconds, and then around T minus 45 one, seconds, we'll hear the final... One, two, uh, five. Four, two, five. For today's launch attempt. Four, two, five. There's, there's a, a number. Oh, maybe the cameras have... If that has a different number... I reckon the cameras might have like a watermark on them. Falcon 9 is in startup. Oh, right, here we go. We are in startup. So with that, Falcon 9 is in full autonomous control of today's launch. Let's listen in for the launch director. Here we go. Come on. Go for launch. Woohoo! We are go for launch. Let's and go. And out indicating that uh, the ground team is ready for today's launch attempt. Weather, uh, payloads, and the range all looking great. Let's uh, watch. Team minus 30 seconds. As Falcon 9. Here we go, on. guys. Are we ready? I'm going to end the poll in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. 15 seconds. All right, here we go, guys. You might have 10, oh, the water's starting nine, to shake. 8, 7, 6, 5, it wobbly. 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Bandwagon 1 and ADD 425. Go Falcon, go SpaceX. Nice, look at that. Vehicle see that? You can still range. definitely see it. I wonder if we get it, if we, uh, if they, um, cut to, like, the onboard footage. I wonder if we'll get it, because it might be, like, a background, like, watermark. T-plus 30 seconds into flight, successful liftoff of Falcon 9 on the Bandwagon 1 mission, carrying 11 Yeah, it's uh, on here, satellites it's on here as well, today. you can just about see it. So there is definitely a watermark on this. We're lifting off from uh, Launch Complex 39A. At the I think it's actually Center. the satellite, the, the Korean satellite, Merlin is in the background. Preparation for maximum oh. pressure. It's, uh, wow, that was that was a bit weird. On the vehicle during ascent. Look at that. Max Q. With that, we are through the highest stresses on the vehicle. Falcon 9 will throttle back up those Merlin 1D engines started. in preparation for the next major milestone. Look how beautiful that is. So coming up in about 45 seconds, we'll have uh, just think, events in my hotel discussion. is somewhere First just over there. Miko or main engine cutoff. Somewhere That's where over all there. Those Merlin 1D engines will shut oh, look down at that. on the first stage. That looks beautiful. We'll have stage separation. The first stage or the booster is going to do a flip maneuver. While that's happening, the second stage is going to ignite its uh, Merlin vacuum engine. And then the first stage is going to start its boost back burn to go towards landing zone one nice. to attempt that land landing. So Miko stage separation, uh, the flip maneuver, second engine start, and then boost back burn. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There Main we go. Engine Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Second engine start. And there you go. And back in action, that's it.
Stage one, boost look at back that. And there's the boost back. Wow, look at that. Look at the Austin two like plumes the right interacting the with each other. It's mental. We've got a tracking shot here of the first stage. Oh man, it looks so good. Boost back burn. Oh, that's just so mental that they've got. Ground, looking back at this first stage again, it's 14th flight today, so we're looking for its 14th landing that's attempt at beautiful. landing zone number one. There we go. We got some on board. What's crazy is it's still going up, so this is a and it's going up the cameras and backwards. The stage. We're, uh, looking at a shot so it's kind of going up like images. that, and it's trying to push itself here. back Those will deploy, uh, that way. After the there you go, actually, uh, we've just please. turned around. So you see the, the speed actually um, slowing down and, a reminder, uh, and then speeding up. Continuing on its mission, but uh, one, at the request of our customer, we won't be showing any second stage views. This today. feels weird. Keep, uh, on this feels really, really weird stage. not being able to see the second stage. There's the Griffins. It's dark in space. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're you're right with that one. <laughs> so what you're seeing here periodically oh, are uh, some white gas. This, out this of the first just stage. looks really, really on weird. Box on your screen, Not being able to see the we use the um, fin second to stage. The first stage uh, back towards our landing site. They oh, call the control the control control the vehicle vehicle once we get into the Earth's atmosphere. Damn! Look at that. Look at that ice forming on the actual like Those, uh, white plumes metal. That you're seeing are of an attitude control gas. We use uh, those are so this one's slightly out as cold gas thrusters. Like so one uh, second out maybe. Gas stored on the vehicle, and since there isn't very much atmospheric force uh, this high up in the atmosphere, we have to give ourselves little puffs of thrust. It's to pretty good. Orient the vehicle, get the heat shield pointed down, and get the vehicle in the entry attitude. Come on, baby, we're going to gonna see this lovely booster landing. What I actually want to know is what is like the minimum height that they have to deploy the like the landing legs. It'd be quite cool to find out actually how low can they go before. The legs don't open in like time, so now you'll notice it's actually starting to speed up. Great shots of so as it's coming down, on the right it's literally falling screen. down. Uh, now it's actually um, up through the inner stage. So that looks cool. Uh, we're looking into that uh, carbon fiber inner stage. That's where the second stage was previously. And on the left hand side of your screen, we've got a ground tracking shot of the. So literally, one of the cameras is like plugged into not too far from one the of these. Side. So I think, and, uh, actually, that center. might be the, is there, fr there's three grid fins, aren't there? Three grid fins? No, there's four. Is there four grid fins? There is four grid fins. Okay, so that wouldn't be another one. But yeah, now they're just about to come in and do the entry burn. And you'll see it light up on this one first. Burn. Uh, for the the uh, first stage, so this basically so just slows it down that we do here. for a There's bit of burn where heating. We turn on just a few of Falcon 9's engines. That's to slow down as we start getting back towards the atmosphere and start to pick up some heating on the vehicle. There you go. <laughs> and then the second of those burns is much closer to stage landing. One entry burn start up. So here's the first of those burns, the entry burn. Look at that, that. beautiful. Just about. 20 or so seconds. Uh, it should start in three, two, one, stop. Oh, close. Oh, wow, look at that tracking shot. This is the one that's got... Okay, that's just the engine completely turning off. Oh, I thought it blew up for a second then. <laughs> So now the next major wow. burn will be the landing burn. That'll happen uh, just before landing will ignite. Just this a looks beautiful. Merlin engine, the landing legs will Send deploy. And then some we'll stuff on WhatsApp. Okay, cool. I will check that see it starting to come uh, in a bit. Focus here on the view on the right-hand side of the uh, screen, heading towards landing zone one. It went. Stage one transonic. 
Oh, here we go. Look how beautiful that is. Look at it actually like steering. Oh, wow, my Chrome browser just froze. Nice. If that was in focus, that would look so damn cool. And there is the startup of the single center Merlin engine. I thought it went. Burn. We'll see the rocket. Uh, excuse me, the landing legs deployed. Yeah, the rocket has gone. They're, um, they're not showing the second stage due to uh, the customer's um, stuff. Look at that. Okay, it's just... Deploy. It's so late. And you just wonder. And there One is day, is the leg going to just not open? Oh, no uh, kaboom. <laughs> <landing on this laughs> yep, particular no kaboom. Landing of an orbital class rocket. Oh, it's I understand now. Yeah, you thought it actually went kaboom. And then yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. So that means the second Look at that. On its way for, uh, the rest of our that is well nice. Oh, if you were on like, the planes over here, you'd have had a super today. cool view. If you're interested in learning more about today's payloads and the deployments, please head to our customers' websites to find out more information. Nice. And uh, we want to thank all of our Rideshare customers today for their support on today's mission, all of our viewers for tuning in. Thanks for joining yeah. us today, and we'll see you for the <laughs> next one. Oh, 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 that doesn't look good. It's mental how it's just there now. It's just back on land. So they just get a little crane and they just dip it up and put it on a transporter. Oh, wow, that's loud. Right, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, a good little launch. It's kind of sad we didn't get to see the second stage, but, you know government satellites and stuff like that is you know at the request of the customer they've they've got to basically do it so um there could be some you know um trade secrets on the like the size and that of the payloads blah 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 so they have to do it but we saw a rocket which was pretty sick um we have ULA's uh rocket uh the last ever Delta Heavy going off on Tuesday. So that is around uh, T, I think, T, uh, T plus, uh, la, la, la. T zero is like 6.58, I think. So I'm streaming um, a little bit earlier, probably about an hour earlier. So um, don't forget to check out that stream on Tuesday. Uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow as um, I've got a lot of things to do. So I will actually be quite busy. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I won't be streaming tomorrow. But we will be back on Wednesday for KSB2. And on Friday we will be doing our Gaming Friday. Um, if there's any other launches in between that, I'm most likely going to try and do them. So yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm Lee. Fly safe. Land safe. And see you guys later. Bye.